Hi there, everybody. Welcome to World of Jones. This is Live Prepper here. Now, remember the other day, I sit here and I've drained this area out and I've taken all my stuff out of this here from the herbs and stuff that I made. And you remember the, name, uh, the basic herbs, you know, like I said, I got goldenrod and gel pie and then I got, you know, bone set. I got platine in there. I got even prime rose in there. I got white willow for pain. I got St. John Ward in there also for pain and mood swings and stuff. So, but you know what I'm doing is I've got a jar right here. And then I cook some of this here down to make a thicker substance to it because then I'm going to take the rest of it and, and do finish them up my tinctures and make it and add alcohol into it. I'm going to tell you what the stuff tastes awful. But it works and that's what counts so what I'm doing here is I'm taking a spoon this here is a cup of sugar here now the thing is is that sugar has been used to cure things you know like ham and other stuff and you'll read articles so I'm like curing it in sugar sugar lasts forever now it may lump up but it will last forever and with this here by me doing this this here is going to even last me even longer so I got one cup of sugar, and what is you want kind of a syrupy, a syrupy base to it, and I have right here is my jar, and you know what, even one spoonful of this syrup with my herbs and all that in there is going to make it different, especially when I'm feeling crappy and the sugar will coat down my throat, and it will give me this uh, nice feeling to help with my coughing, and all the herbs and everything is going to help with the flu and, and the aching and congestions and all this other stuff. So now, I say, you want a nice syrupy texture to it. You want this good and hot. And you can do it different ways if you want to. You can take the herbs like I did and pour sugar on top of it. And just take it and set it in the window. And then once the sugar melts and starts infusing into the stuff, into all that, then you're looking at a nice, good, syrupy medication. Now, I want to tell you something. What you've got to allow for is like this cup of sugar will fill this jar up here. Now, you can see right here, it is real thick right here. And if it's not hot enough, all you simply got to do is just, you know, throw it in the, you know, Maybe throw it back on the stove for a minute. You can throw it in the microwave for a minute. Whatever you want to do. And then there you go. You've got it. You know. Okay. So this in here is just getting a nice good consistency here. I'm going to add a little bit. I think I'm going to not need much more maybe. And what I probably will end up doing here is I probably will end up maybe heating it up here a little bit and what I would do simply is is I will set some water and put it down in my pan and I will heat it up a little more to make me a little bit more uh, sugar for it to uh, heat up and then I can and again like I said you got to remember here is that this here will indeed purify itself I'm going to add some more, some more of my herb in here and if I say once this is all settled in there, I would say I'm going to probably put it back in a water pan. I'm going to heat it up. Or I can put it in the microwave and kind of heat it up a little bit. Set it in the stove or whatever I choose to do with it to heat it. Or if I want to, I might just set it in the window and let the window, let the, the sugar melt by setting it in the window during the day. I can do that away as well. Because then I can add more overall sugar here. So, let's see here. You can see, I can just see the grains of sugar here. Now, there we go. So, you can see here, I have a jar full here, and it is, I'll tell you what, it is a little syrupy, as you can see here. And I am going to end up setting it up in the window and let the uh, sun finish this up for me to help melt it down. 
And I probably will go ahead and add just a little more in there to make it a little bit thicker. There we go. Like I say, you see how thick this is? And if you're a diabetic or something other, you may or may not want to do this. And then again, you may want to do this. It, you know, be sure you be careful when you're doing something like this. And I'm not a doctor, so you, you know, you, maybe you need to check with your doctor first before you make up a natural herbal remedy. But I've heard from a lot of people over the years, uh, on, you know, where I've read about it and, and people have talked about it. And I ran into people in health, you know, health stores where they literally came off their medication. You know what? I can deal with this syrup better than I can the tincture. And I think, <laughs> I think it would make another thing of syrup instead of doing a tincture here. But then again, I can still use the tincture as well. Because, like I say, once this here is, you can fish you up a small bottle to carry around with you. That ain't no problem. You know, you can take it and then turn it up. But I want to tell you what, this is a lot better than me drinking it last night. Because that was the vinegar bit. And then, of course, like I say, the bone set and everything doesn't taste very good. So, this here is my syrup. You can see here. I mean, you can just see the little bit of the the, the thickness here. You can see all that in there. And if I want it kind of a little thicker, I can add more sugar in it. The benefits of all those herbs is in there. Because I want to tell you, it soaked really good last night by being good and hot. And then I heated it up and concentrated and evaporated some of the excess water in it. So I really strengthened the herbal mix up even more. Wow, I'm going to tell you what, I am really happy with that. I think I'm going to end up taking the rest of my herbal mixture here. I've got a little bit left here, enough here. I think I'm going to end up making me a cough syrup instead of using my tincture. Because then I can turn around and transfer it into a small bottle. So, all I do here, I've got my lid here. And I can turn around and set it up in the windows. Or I want to set it up here in my window. I've got my black curtain there to kind of help keep things warm this winter. I want to let Mother Nature take care of me. I want to make me another one here in a little bit. So made my own syrup stuff. It tastes better than other stuff. So if you don't want to have to taste all that old bitter stuff and make faces and try to drink a shot of it down, and it works. I guarantee you. Because when I took mine last night, I was feeling crappy. I was hurting all over. My body was aching. And I got stuff all over me, don't I? Oh, well, that's the way it goes when I'm in here in the kitchen or out in the yard playing. So, from the world of John, live prepper, make your own herbal syrup, make your own herbal tincture, respect nature, and nature may just end up respecting you back in place, and don't harvest more than what you need. And if you got a question on that plant, don't harvest it until you read it, until you study, or talk to somebody that may know about it. Make sure you know what you're harvesting. Don't take a chance because I don't know nothing about mushrooms and I wouldn't know what was edible, what was not. So I don't touch them. But if I was with somebody who was expert on mushrooms, then it'd be a different story. Never stop learning about nature. Never stop learning about the wonderful gift that God has given you all around you. So from the world of Joe, the life prepper here, and I like that better. Be safe, be happy. Bless you all.